There are two important aspects to a horror movie recommendation I like to keep in mind. The first is its source. I want to have trust in the person offering the recommendation, or what is the point? Be that a good friend or someone who works in the field. You know like the master of modern horror, Stephen King. The second variable I try to keep in mind is accessibility. How complicated a recommendation is to track down will play into someone's likelihood of actually watching it. If the horror title is on Netflix, Hulu, or HBO Max, I know there's going to be a higher chance that person will seek it out. Today, we're tackling both factors head-on. Here are five horror movies recommended by Stephen King you can stream on Netflix right now. In 2017, King spoke in detail with Bloody Disgusting about his feelings towards the first of the new IT films ahead of its release. Here's what he had to say. I had hopes, but I was not prepared for how good it really was. It's something that's different, and at the same time, it's something that audiences are gonna relate to. They're gonna like the characters. To me, it's all about character. If you like the characters, if you care, the scares generally work. I'm sure my fans will enjoy the movie. I think they're gonna really enjoy the movie. And I think some of them will go back two or three times and actually savor the thing. I went back and saw it a second time, and I felt I was seeing things the second time through that I missed the first time. In Dance Macabre, King's nonfiction review of the horror genre at large, he gets explicit about why Frank Darabont's adaptation of The Mist works so well. Frank Darabont's vision of hell is completely uncompromising. If you want sweet, the Hollywood establishment will be pleased to serve you at the Cineplex, believe me, but if you want something that feels real, come here. Darabont could have made a higher budget film if he'd added a cheerful, it's all okay kitties ending, but he refused. His integrity and courage shine in every scene. Stephen King isn't the only fan of Netflix's original title Bird Box. It also happens to be the most viewed horror film of all time on the world's premier streamer. King took to Twitter to share his views on this blockbuster title. I was absolutely riveted by Bird Box, Netflix. Don't believe the lukewarm reviews which may in part have been caused by reviewers' ambivalence to the streaming platform, as opposed to theatrical releases. This one comes as a bit of a surprise, but who doesn't love some controversy? In a recently updated edition of Dance Macabre, Stephen King notes that Rob Zombie's drastically different vision of events was both inspired and an excellent reimagining of Halloween. Everyone's entitled to one good scare, and their opinion. Say what you will about this remake, it certainly carves out its own unique path. Crimson Peak, is it good? This is an ongoing conversation between myself and Dread Central's newsletter editor, Emily Gagné. She's been a firm supporter of Guillermo del Toro's tragic love story since its release. I am not quite as sold, however. Even though I'm a massive fan of del Toro, there's just something about this particular film that doesn't resonate. King happens to take Emily's side on this one. Here's what the author had to say. Was treated to a screening of Guillermo del Toro's new movie, Crimson Peak, this weekend. Gorgeous and just fucking terrifying. Lastly, what do you think? Are you going to check out any of these Stephen King horror wrecks on Netflix? Let us know on Twitter via at Dread Central. We are always around to chat about all things Netflix and Stephen King.